Now it's your turn. Good afternoon. Well, I prepared this last minute, so I hope it catches your attention. I'm probably really dumb for waiting last minute, but no words. teen action and leadership opportunities for nature. And the idea is there are a lot of city kids that just don't get outside. Since we live in a, you know, urban environment, there's not a lot of places where you can just go out and see nature. We live in a city, all that's around you is stores, more stores. Talent is basically allowing us students to reconnect with nature, allowing us to see life outside of what we usually see in the city, you know, like public transportation, huge buildings. We get to see huge trees. It's like a stress-free environment because in high school, I'm always stressed. High school, all you see is humans. Humans can be exhausting, but when you see farm animals, it's like we just interact. Everybody's so friendly. Nobody has an attitude, like everybody just get along with each other. When I get to do farms, I feel free. You feel the nature on you, you feel like you're in a new place, and you could be you. The talent program was a year from start to finish, and they would come out once a month and do different activities that featured some of the important work that we're doing here around Duke Farms. The first reaction the kids had when they came uh, from the inner city was, uh, what exactly is going on here? You know, it's, it's kind of a foreign landscape. They're getting bugs on them. They, they're kind of freaking out, but at the same time, they, they slowly get more comfortable with it. The lambs were okay to let go. Don't let go of the chickens. <laughs> Every time you get here, you feel impacted, great. Pretty amazing. It's like a whole other world. So if you like plants and you like designing things, you can put those two things together and actually have a job. There's a career development part of this that's really important because the kids start to understand what people's real jobs are at a place like Duke Farms. I would like to do organic farming and environmental education. I think environmental education would help me become a teacher in the future and organic farming is just something I've always loved to do. As part of our lease here at Duke Farms, we've made an agreement that we will produce without using chemical pesticides and fertilizers and with our animals, we only feed them organic grain. How do you feel um, <laughs> doing or organic and not mistreating the animals? I mean, that's one of the biggest things for me is, is like having you know a daily interaction with, with something that is gonna be food. So from both the animal's perspective and from the human perspective, it seems like the right way to do it is to have them outside. We tried to show these kids a bit of how much hard work goes into producing food and then also the reward of getting to eat something that you grew and that you know where it comes from. There was definitely mixed reactions with the kids. Uh, you know, every couple minutes there's a difference between, oh my God, that's disgusting, and oh man, that's something I've never seen before. See how these buckets work? They just drip a little bit out and they gravity feed. Kids enjoyed working with the animals, uh, doing the chores, watering, moving them. Really loves getting out in the field, seeing how they live. John providing you with some pigs from Duke Farm. So we have smoked, barbecued, um, pulled pork shoulder, garden pasta salad with sun-dried tomatoes, pesto. Through my organization, Kids Outdoors, I incorporate outdoor recreation with the food. And I love it. It's my passion. And my wife made, with John's beautiful sweet strawberries, strawberry cream cheese cobbler. The kids developed an appreciation for all of the work that our staff do and they started to see the connections between um, what we do here at Duke Farms and their own lives. You just see how everything coexists, even the technology, you see how, well most people like technology majors nowadays, see that's how they want to do it for work. So here you see just how technology, even though most people think it doesn't connect with nature, 
here you just see it do just that. Geocaching uh, essentially is a high-tech uh, scavenger hunt, kind of treasure hunt. And it's all through uh, an internet website where people can log their visit to these caches. They're placed out in the wilderness and people put them with GPS coordinates and so you use the coordinates to find them. There's a whole um, competitive aspect to it. So people want to be the first to find these caches. I make these GIS layers and then get them on a map. We go out there with the iPads, they're sitting there watching, they're like, this is really what we just did? So you make it really big so that way people know which way is north. It helps them orient themselves looking at the map. And then another important thing too is a scale bar. It'll let you know if they measure an inch on the map, it'll let them know in the real world what's that distance. They capture these points out in the field and then it goes back to the computer. It's just, they're amazed by it. And so the fact that they can see that you can make a living by doing stuff like this really gets them excited. The program also gives kids a strong foundation in natural sciences. So we're preparing them for college. We're preparing them for life beyond this program. For my internship, I chose um, Native Plants with Callie and Joe. Mainly I chose because I love how passionate Callie and Joe were about their job. You can see that they were very devoted to what they did and they truly believed that it was important. Who wants to open these? Okay, you got the knife in there. These are a special seed. They're called zigzag goldenrod. The reason why I call them a special seed is there are not many plants on this property. We are teaching them today about propagation. Now they've started so far, they've done three different types of seed. Each one propagated a flat and they're going to water it in. The seeding, it was amazing how fast they did the first flat. They knew they had to do the, the label, the water, the plastic bag, put it in the refrigerator. After that, they could do it themselves. So just a tiny bit of water? Yeah, just spray it, it over here. All right, across it. And this one? Yeah. Put a mint. Right here, this hole? Yeah. Just dump it right in there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. They realize the impact of what they're learning. They realize that, yes, native plants are not so well known, but they are so important to the environment. One of the awesome things about this program is that it prepares them for life. Here I've been able to get out of my comfort zone, like doing things I probably wouldn't have imagined myself doing. Yesterday we went tree climbing. I really never imagined myself doing that since I'm scared of heights. We're all gonna go get helmets on. And the Zurich is going up first. It doesn't have to be tight. Helmets go first. Just with slow, steady pressure, you take your two fingers and pull downwards on top of that knot. And if you feel like you're going too quick and you panic, just let go. You gotta get up that tree. I'm going first. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna hike this up a little bit. You're gonna sit back and make sure you're comfortable. Okay. Now sit back, try to have the... There we go. Alright. Okay, you need to watch. I'm gonna take an upside down selfie. I could have done that. I was upside down. Okay, I think I'm high. I gotta go higher. I want to go like right here. Well, I have to tie another knot. I'm in dream, I'm climbing. I'm gonna try this again. That's it. Right. Okay. Okay. The people here in Duke Farms became a second family to me. I've learned a lot with them, and like they gave, they give all their love to the job and teach us new stuff. Young kids want to learn this, and they're the ones that have to settle down and spread the news to other kids their age, their peers. I want you to join talent. Do you want to see the world differently, or do you want to see it the same? Join talent, and we'll see what the world will be like in the years from now. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, they're going to have this graduation on Friday of this talent program. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> I've realized I've changed so much throughout this past year. You want to hold it? When I had Ms. Solikowski as a biology teacher, she would ask all of us, would you rather stay inside and do some work, or would you rather go outside and explore? I always told her I wanted to stay inside. 
But the minute I stepped into Duke Farms, I literally just fell in love. I am leaving talent with a lot of knowledge and experience this year. And I, wish, and I hope to take it on with the following group that comes in. I'm really proud of myself for all the changes I've had. I really didn't expect all of this. And let me tell you one thing, I enjoyed every single minute, even when I got stuck in June in the mud on John Lux's farm. <laughs> but the most important thing is that I got closer to people I never talked to, and I also met great people. I think they're the coolest people to work with. They are like, they are family, and I started feeling like I was part of it. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't know where I'd be.